How's it going everyone? This is GWR Studios, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at Henry the Green Engine. Henry is the number three engine on the island of Sodor, but did you know he used to be a different type of engine? And not only that, Henry was originally an experimental engine. But who exactly is Henry, and does his real life counterpart still exist? Well, for today's Sodor profile, we're going to take a closer look at Henry, and I'm also going to show you the real engine he was based off. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at Henry the Green Engine. <laughs> So first off, who exactly is Henry? Well, Henry is a mixed traffic engine that lives on the island of Sodor. For the most part, Henry is a well-behaved engine, but there are times that he's arrogant and vain. What are you engines doing here? Go away! But despite this, Henry has a good heart, and he always tries his best when doing a job. Early on in the series, Henry would often get sick, and this would cause the other engines to tease him. You're too slow. You need exercise. But little did the engines know that Henry's firebox wasn't big enough to make a proper fire, and because of this, he couldn't produce enough steam. I suffer dreadfully, and no one cares. Rubbish, Henry! You don't work hard enough! But fortunately, Henry's firemen found a way to fix this. Instead of using regular coal, Henry was given Welsh coal. This new coal worked much better for Henry, and the best part was, he no longer felt ill. So what are some of the jobs that Henry does on the island of Sodor? Well, Henry is a mixed traffic engine. This means that he can pull both passenger trains and freight trains. One of Henry's favorite trains to pull is the Flying Kipper, but we'll talk about that a little later. For right now, let's take a closer look at the real life Henry. Now before I show you the real life Henry, I need to tell you about his origins. The truth is, no one really knows where Henry came from, but I did manage to find a theory that seems pretty convincing. And not only that, this theory explains why Henry has so many problems. It goes something like this. Way back in 1919, an unknown locomotive builder stole drawings from Sir Nigel Gresley. Gresley was a famous locomotive designer. He designed famous locomotives such as the A4 Pacific and the A3 Pacific. This locomotive builder held a grudge against Gresley, so to get back, he sent a spy to steal some drawings. The spy managed to retrieve drawings and sent them back to the locomotive designer. The locomotive designer was thrilled, and he quickly had the engine built. But what he didn't know was that the drawings were actually for an experimental locomotive. This meant that the locomotive was not ready for production, but by the time he realized this, the locomotive was already built. And the result? was Henry the Green Engine. Henry had a lot of mechanical issues, and this caused him to be an unreliable steamer. The locomotive designer needed to find somebody to buy Henry, but he had to convince them that Henry was a good steamer. His chance to sell Henry came when he met Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt was desperate for locomotives, and the locomotive designer convinced Sir Topham Hatt to buy Henry. This explains why Henry has so many problems, but I'm sure the question you're all wondering is, does the real life Henry still exist? That's right, the real life Henry still exists. In fact, there are 18 of these locomotives still around today. The Henry we know today is based off a of 5MT Black 5 steam locomotive. These locomotives were built by the London, Midland, and Scottish Railway. Much like Henry, these engines were designed to pull both passenger trains and freight trains. But there's something else I need to tell you about Henry. Believe it or not, Henry used to be a different type of engine. Let me explain. Earlier, I explained how Sir Topham Hatt bought Henry from an unknown locomotive designer, but what I didn't mention was what type of engine Henry was. Because Henry was based off an experimental engine, he was one of a kind. He was a mix between an A1 Pacific and a C1 Atlantic. But all that changed one night when Henry was pulling the Flying Kipper. A signal showed that the line was all clear, but the truth was there was a train up ahead. Henry was going at full speed, and he crashed into the train. Henry was heavily damaged from the accident. He had to be repaired, otherwise he'd never run again. But fortunately, Sir Topham Hatt saved Henry and had him rebuilt, and the engine he was based off was the 5MT Black 5. So there you have it. Henry was originally an experimental engine that was saved by Sir Topham Hatt. I'm so glad that the real Henry still exists today, and I hope they never stop running. 
Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to stay tuned for future episodes. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon.